They cannot have the flag. They cannot have the anthem. When you see it on the screen, it will probably not say Russia. It will probably say ROC. The uniforms, when they introduce them, they're still the colors of the Russian flag. It's not going to be confusing to anybody watching which country those athletes belong to. The Russian Olympic Committee is the National Olympic Committee for the country, very similar to here in the United States. Every country that's sending a, a team to the games has an Olympic committee. The difference is instead of calling them Russia officially in the standings and the displays, they're just going by Russian Olympic committee. This is a sanction or part of the sanctions for a widespread doping scheme that Russia had in place for years that first came out that there was widespread doping first in Russian uh, track and field. And then after a couple more investigations, a widespread coordinated scheme to subvert anti-doping rules. The first revelation started in late 2014, and then there were investigations in 2015, 2016. Following those, governing bodies started sanctioning Russia. The World Anti-Doping Agency issued a four-year ban for the country from international competitions. It went to the Court of Arbitration for Sport, which reduced the sanction to two years and made a path for neutral athletes to compete. That's what will happen in Tokyo. Testing works in two ways. One, you go to a competition, you get tested there. The more effective way is targeted out of competition testing. Neither of those was really happening for a lot of 2020. And so the concern is how many people took advantage of that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.